He kissed my king. Chat, I wanna watch this then. The world finally got the Y2K experience it deserved when millions of Windows machines went down thanks to a bad update from cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. Yeah, 8.5 million to be exact. But now the plot has thickened and multiple theories for why this actually happened have emerged. A. Was it just a silly mistake? B. Was it actually a cyber attack being covered up? Or C. Was it a false flag planned centuries ago by our multidimensional lizard overlords? In today's that video, one. we'll try to find out what really happened by taking a deep dive into the technical details. That but first, Here's a crazy detail you need to know. On April 21st, 2010, at approximately 1400 hours, a McAfee antivirus update accidentally removed the Windows service host file and knocked millions of computers running Windows XP off the internet, causing many of them to go into an Jeff. endless reboot loop. Yeah, what do we even run out of antiviruses these days? Aren't they kind of useless? Isn't, isn't Windows doing a pretty good job, if not better Life than this shit? Like the blue screen of death shut down critical services around the world. That was 15 years ago when Chat. Justin Bieber was- Chat. A good virus cannot be detected by an antivirus. I could be wrong about this. I hope I'm not saying some misinformation. If somebody is good enough and he makes a virus, right, until it's been used and, 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 and proven and it's a virus, it will not be on the database. Therefore, that piece of code cannot be recognized by anything. Like, antivirus, all, all they do is take the things that are known and analyzed to be viruses through other victims and say, these are viruses, these pieces of codes are virus. But if somebody um, makes a very elaborate scheme, actual virus, it's, it's not one of but detectable. Pagma is only 16 years old, but it's nearly identical to the CrowdStrike disaster going on right now. Here's the crazy part. Apparently I'm wrong. The CTO of McAfee in 2010 was none other than George Kurtz, the CEO of CrowdStrike today. That's quite the example of failing upwards. Now, he did just lose $300 million in paper wealth, but most importantly, we now know the embarrassing truth about how the CrowdStrike disaster actually happened. Almost. It is July 22nd, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. The creator of C++, Bjorn Arne Straustrup once said, C++ makes it harder to shoot yourself in the foot, but when you do, you blow your entire leg off. And we uh, should have listened to him. CrowdStrike released an official statement explaining what happened. Come on, you guys. There it is, right there in front of you the whole time. You're dereferencing a Mel Pointer. Open your eyes. The CrowdStrike Falcon sensor is software that sits in the background on your machine, looking for potential security anomalies. It contains a driver, which is the thing that actually executes code, along with a bunch of channel files, which are basically just config files, that contain rules about new potential attacks that the sensor can look for. These files are not kernel drivers and can be updated on the fly, and when CrowdStrike pushed an update to channel file 291, a logic error caused the entire system to crash. Now normally, when an application crashes, it only breaks that application running in user land or ring 3 in the CPU protection ring. No blue screen of death required. But CrowdStrike is a unique piece of software that box. runs within ring 0 or kernel Whoa. mode. I know that the most works. privileged zone around the CPU usually reserved. Chat, chat, believe it or not, chat, you have something on, a, on the ring 0 and L that's foreign. Chat, it, yeah, it's foreign, chat. It's from a different country and it's spying on you right now. Look, even I have it. It's right there. Look, An chat. It's right there. Look, no chat. Hello, China. Comes out Hello, China. What up? What up? for process scheduling and direct hardware access. Ring Zero is an area that normally only Microsofties are allowed to touch, and in order for any third party to run code here, they must receive a WHQL certification from Microsoft to verify that your code won't break 8.5 million devices and shut down the global economy. The CrowdStrike driver was WHQL certified, so it sounds like it's Microsoft's fault. Well, not so fast. What's unique about CrowdStrike is that they can make updates to those config or channel files dynamically. In this case, the driver had some kind of issue reading channel file 291, causing the entire system to fail. That's pretty much all the detail we have from official sources, but That's luckily there's a guy on the internet who's a professional C++ programmer, and provided a breakdown that went viral. His wow. hypothesis was that this was a skill issue, where some engineer coded up a null pointer trying to access a memory address that doesn't exist. A simple rookie coding mistake that could have One been zero. fixed with an if statement. This tweet got a lot of traction, but since then it's been community noted, and another security researcher explains oh, that- Oh, you put that if can't read this default back to something else or whatever code 
This code Overall. is reading pointers from a table in a loop, and some are invalid. Perhaps an error parsing the configuration file left some entries uninitialized. What's kind of crazy here is that it looks like the driver code has actually been broken for a long time, and this one config file was the straw that broke the camel's back. We may not know the full truth until there's a congressional hearing, but it looks like some developer there wrote some bad code, said works on my machine, but then made the horrible mistake of deploying wait, on Friday. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What? It broke the camel's back. We may not know the full truth until there's a congressional hearing, but it looks like some developer there wrote some bad code, said works on my machine, but then made the horrible mistake of deploying on a Friday. But we can't blame this one person. Program Wait, chat, that, chat, that, that would, you see you guys said it, that they have uh, a farm of a bunch of different samples and they run their program through a bunch of machines. So, so you guys lied. So you're just gonna lie to me. So you're just gonna lie to me. Because that means that it, it's not my machine, it'll be a random or assemble machine. Machines. Programmers write bad code all the time, but a failure like this should never reach production. The Falcon sensor is not just some crappy to-do list That's app. What when I software said. operates in the critical path like this, there should be multiple layers of protection. Well, That's Yes, that, I said that, I said that. The assurance, said continuous that. integration, the staggered rollouts, and so on. It's absolutely insane that this wasn't caught by some automated process before it killed 8.5 million computers. Heads need to roll for this, but it's not the person who wrote the code. It's an organizational failure, and it's not the first time Colonel Kurtz has been connected to a worldwide outage. He knows that real men test in production Jeff, and is willing to- Otherwise, yeah, it would be insane. That no, you didn't, lol. You would- An entire nation say, oh yeah, one guy wrote bad code. You, you, people don't write bad code on a daily. Most code is bad code. What about it? it there's other people and other verifying and testers like that that are in the in QA is what it is. die on that hill. The thing Most is, code is bad this code. company that is a very expensive product that very few people understand. And if you want to have an exotic car collection like this, your enterprise sales team is your highest priority, not your software engineering team those nerds. Therefore, the most likely root cause of this disaster is just a lack of quality control at the company CrowdStrike. But another theory floating around is that this wasn't an accident, but actually the work of a foreign spy who infiltrated the company, or perhaps a rogue employee who wanted to send a message. A message that is time to switch to the Rust programming language for Windows driver development. But the conspiracy theories go even deeper, and some think this failure is so egregious that it was actually pre-planned in advance. Uh. The World Economic Forum has made predictions about a worldwide cyber attack, and CrowdStrike Strike is a World Economic Forum partner. This was all just a test run for the real cyber attack scheduled to happen on August. Dude, dude, if they want to do a real cyber attack, brother, they would have write, written some piece of code that apparently one guy can push to the live servers on a Friday, apparently, right? That fucking, that, that post and send emails that contain all their data of all their, all their customers across the board with login information to a bunch of forums and, and social medias at the same time with packed files and compressed files. Boom. That would be an, an actual disaster. Attack scheduled to happen on August 12th, 2026. Like that and most of us will already be dead by then. But if your goal is to write robust kernel drivers on Windows, you'll need to machines. know how to problem solve like a programmer. And you can start doing that for free thanks to this video sponsor, Wait. Brilliant. Wait, he said, hold on, hold on. This was all just a test run for the real cyber attack scheduled to happen on August 12th, 2026. Most of us will already be dead by then, but if your goal is to write robust kernel drivers on Windows, you'll need to know how to problem solve like a programmer. And you can start doing that for free thanks to this video sponsor, Brilliant. Problem solving is a skill that you keep forever. Brilliant's platform will introduce you to essential programming concepts, okay. but most of- So this is wrong because he's got his dates wrong. It's not 26, it's 36. It's 36. But still importantly, the hands-on exercises will develop your brain to recognize and solve complex problems that developers need to overcome on a daily basis. Best of all, every lesson is concise and rewarding. By investing just a few minutes each day, you'll develop habits that can level up your programming skills for the rest of your life. And you can do it anywhere, even from your phone. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for yes, free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash fireship or scan this. This one. A few moments later. Hi, Squidward. August 12, 2036. Heat death of the universe. August 12, 2036. The heat death of the universe. August 12, 2036. The heat death of the universe. Ah, that's funny. That's a funny meme. What are you doing? Repeating this meaningless phrase over and over again in hopes that it will mean something someday. 
Why don't you just say something interesting? Like what? I don't know. Anything. I don't know what to say. How are you? I'm not saying that. Oh. Not that. Game is frozen LUL. XQCL. <laughs> this is done. August 12, 2036. August 12, 2036. August 12, 2036. Crafting. August well. Alright boys, that's about where we're at for the day chat.